Hi, I'm Healing Means. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we judge products, not people. August was fun, August was great, but now it's September and I need to start with a brand new slate. Hold on, I got the wrong shirt on. <gasps> Y'all, my longest nail broke. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am smiling y'all, but I'm finna cry. Can you believe this just happened? Like right before I started recording. I don't know. My this is the longest one. It had just reached a half an inch, y'all. Just like we say about those split ends and those single strand knots, you cannot save them. So they gotta what? Be cut off. Y'all, I am truly about to like I, I don't even wanna do it. Like I, I don't, but look, it's just it's hanging on by just the littlest of littlest. And it got to go, y'all. I say I need a clean slate. They ain't me for my dang nails to break off. Ah! And they, oh, my nails always seem to start breaking off like on the left hand. And then look at the right hand. Look at this thumbnail, y'all. Really? Okay, but that's not why we're here. We are here today because y'all know the month of August, I did a whole bunch of mix and match videos. That was a lot of products. And even though I obviously shampooed and cleansed and stuff every time I did a new style. This is September and I really wanna start with a new slate. You see the t-shirt, you know what that means. It's DIY time. Usually when I do my DIY, it is either an Ayurvedic hair mask or a clay mask. And then if I use both, I'll go ahead and do one, I rinse that out and then I do the other. This time I decided to combine them. So. My Ayurvedic mix that I, I showed you many times before. And then I'm going to be combining that with my detox hair mask. Let's go to a commercial break and I'll show you how I made today's mix. To make today's hair mask, I got an aloe vera leaf from out of my backyard. I made sure to clean off the orange aloe latex. I put the leaf in water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, look at my tomatoes from my tomato plant, y'all. They was good, too. And then here is the leaf. You can see the yellow in the water. That's the aloe latex. I cut off about four inches, and I chopped that up. I blended it in my blender um, maybe a little bit too long. It was all foamy, but if you just let it settle down or you can sit it in a refrigerator, it will liquefy, as you see here. I strained it through... A kitchen strainer there's the pulp and this is what you don't want in your hair and then to preserve the leaf you don't have to do this I usually use lemons but this time I use citric acid I just scooped a little bit on the end of the exposed leaf and then I wrapped it with saran wrap and put it in my refrigerator y'all know I'm gonna use them outer leaves here are all of the ingredients the two dry mixes combined apple cider vinegar the aloe vera gel and my Ayurvedic oil. And this is how it looks all stirred up like mud pie. Now we back with today's mix and it looks like this. Woohoo! I don't wanna spill nothing out. I'm gonna concentrate this on my roots and if it's not enough for the entire length of my hair, that's okay because after this, I'm gonna go into a wash day video and I'm going back to my subscriber recommended wash days and that's how we're gonna get this September started and this is just to reset and get me on a fresh start from all of the products that I used in my hair during the month of August I have my old time I done went back to my back in the day spray bottle this is the one that everybody had before we switched over to um, those misty bottles I'm so sad that my nail broke y'all and I mean literally right before I started recording here it is 
oh the consistency is very smooth I do feel like a little bit of grit but it's not a lot at all this feels good I usually add essential oils I didn't this time I really like my DIY mask and I use this stuff like on a regular basis y'all and I'm going in here heavy like I got a whole pot full of mask but I don't yeah, yes my face is breaking out again I think I know what it is it has more to do with my diet and my stress levels so we also gonna be working on that for the month of September I just I'm not sure how many videos I'm gonna get out because I will be doing some traveling this month but you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm gonna keep in touch I'm gonna try to hit y'all up because the only thing I have is YouTube I don't have Instagram and Facebook snapchat TikTok um, what else I ain't got nothing else I have YouTube and that's it this is good for this section as far as getting the roots let's see if you can see what this looks like in the back I have everything now I do have activated charcoal which is why this mix is darker than what you may have seen it if you watch me use this mask before it's because it does have charcoal in it I think I'm probably gonna keep this in my hair for maybe like a half hour covered with a shower cap and then a half hour uncovered because I actually do want it to dry out a little bit. I do want it to dry out because then it will absorb all of the dirt and the oils and the impurities into itself. Now it does that from the second you start applying it. When you actually let it dry and you'll notice if you ever use a bentonite clay mask on your face and if you leave it on too long, you know how like your face will get dry, it feel tight and like the blood will surface to your face and your face will get red. It's because the clay is actually absorbing everything into itself. All right, so ooh, that sound pretty good. Huh? Let me go ahead and leave this right here and let's go on to the next section. Y'all ever wonder what people be saying like when they do the fast forward and speed through, <laughs> you know, like the application parts of their video or whatever, and you see their mouth moving, you know they talking about something. You ever wonder what they was talking about? Well, I do. I was just saying how much I really miss doing my DIY mask in August, and I was glad to be doing this one early in September. This is the one side. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then I'll come back when I'm done. Boom! All this is is calcium bentonite clay and warm water. That's it. Nothing fancy. No apple cider vinegar. No milk and essential oils. Like none of that. So that's all what I have on my face. And then as you can see, you do not have to let the clay dry completely. Clays work instantly once they're applied, but the longer you leave them on, the more they're gonna work. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to come back right quick to show you how it looks and how it feels. You let a clay mask dry all the way or almost all the way. It is very tight. As you can see, I can barely talk. And my skin is so tight that it's itching. That's how you know you let the clay stay on for too long. I got something for that too. It's called aloe vera. See you in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I have an unexpected run to make, so I wanted to come back and show you what my hair looks like in the interim before I jump in the shower and get the rest of this out. So I rinsed out a little bit under the sink. My hair is fortified like cereal. It feels very strong but moisturized at the same time 
My hair feel powerful, y'all. I like that. I do have some shedding and I will continue to gather those hairs because I won't be able to continue directly into the next wash day. I am going to probably just put some aloe vera in my hair just to carry me through this errand and maybe into tomorrow. Look, I done lost the towel. Oh, towel gone. But yeah, if I don't get that wash day done or at least started today, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. Let me just let you see what my hair looks like from the back. Now it has dried out from the time that I started rinsing to the time I press record. So it is drying out a little bit, but my hair feels good. It feels strong. The only thing I have to do is rinse out the rest of these Ayurvedic bits and pieces because the clay and everything else is already rinsed out. And I just have like a few. I don't feel like it's all over everywhere. And if it is, it's not gonna be that much to rinse out. So I also rinse my face. All of the clay is gone. And what I'm gonna do to moisturize my face because I don't have time to do like a whole face whatever is drop the stuff on the floor. Use aloe vera. So I'm just going to Put this on my face a little bit now while I prepare to get into the shower and then a little bit when I get out and it feels so good it really does thank you for watching this video ladies and gentlemen that's all I have today comment below what do you think about Ayurvedic hair mask um, clay hair mask just DIY in general. After doing a whole month of store-bought products, I had to come back to my DIY, y'all. I was missing it. Even though I was using my DIY Ayurvedic hair oil, y'all, I was I was missing my clay mask. I was missing my Ayurvedic mask. I was missing it, but it's back now. So I am going to rinse the rest of this out, and sometime soon, I will get into the next subscriber requested wash day. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, click that notifications bell, and share with everyone you know. Until next time, bye.